Hello. It's been a while since I've done something at this time of the day, the morning, the afternoon, the evening. <laughs> but I was thinking about it. Oh, the other day, I don't know, I used to do these little tank talk things where I just jump on after work and it would be midweek and sort of just ramble on and I kind of miss it. <laughs> a bit of fun. Um, I don't, don't know. There was usually between like five and 12 sort of <laughs> people in there, but I don't know. An hour would fly by. Wouldn't think anything of it. And yeah, it's been a little while. Also, for those that haven't seen the latest video from yesterday, there is a tank now in the background. A few people were like, oh, does he really even have fish tanks? He's just sitting in front of all that video game stuff. So now you can look at a fish tank instead of this. <laughs> Let me just jump out of here and, and just watch myself apparently <laughs> and say hello to everybody that's here. Thank you for jumping in. Uh, the Zen Ginger, I don't know if you're still here or Bodgy, but they were in nice and early. The last fish tanks, I was just thinking, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> when I uh, saw your your comment, Alice, how are you? Shep's Aquatics, looking good in green with that little blue fish. <laughs> Jason Cichlids, for once I'm on time and able to catch a stream. It's because it's a really random time to do a stream, Jason, but welcome. The Zen Ginger, howdy peoples, she is here. Uh, Alice, same same here. Just, you're, I see you a lot, Alice. What are you talking about? What are you missing out on? <laughs> Oh, I just clicked a button and everything disappeared. King's Aquariums, Aquamate, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Alice, I love that tank. I know. It's pretty cool. I reckon while we're having a chat, I'll give you guys a bit of a, a sneak peek. And I did a video yesterday, so definitely check it out. A couple of people said to me, actually, they didn't get a notification when I released it. It's actually one of my favorite videos that I've ever made, and it's... It hasn't got a lot of views, but maybe that's because it's salt water. But I teamed up with Sam Parker from Parker's Reefs. Um, he's an awesome dude, has a lot of uh, a lot of knowledge in the salt water world. And he came up, he drove like two and a half hours away down Blake's Aquatics Way down in Geelong uh, to just check it out and go, yes, Josh, you haven't stuffed it up yet. <laughs> so check out the video because it was a lot of fun. It gives us five tips um, for people that are thinking about getting a saltwater aquarium and just what they should be thinking about and what's important about setting one up, because I know I'm still nervous about it, but so far, so good. So far, so good that you can see there's something moving around in there, and I didn't have fish for the video, so I'll be a bit of an exclusive uh, hanging out while we're here. I can't stop watching them. They're fantastic. My whole family's a bit, a bit drawn. I'll let you guys try and guess what sort of fish are in there. Um, do we have a new member? Why isn't that telling me? Ah, Ryan, how are you? <laughs> Welcome aboard the Aquamate membership train. <laughs> uh, that is also another reason that I'm doing a stream uh, because... I have a list. I won't show you it properly because it's got people's addresses on there. I have a list of people that I owe stickers to from uh, a whole oh, ages and ages ago. There's a few people I promised I'd get some stickers out to and I haven't done it. And I thought, you know what? Let's just do a little bit of a, you know, sort of hang out for an hour with all you guys and hold me accountable. So... I'm going to have Blake's Aquatics jump up and join us for a little bit shortly. Um, but I'm going to write out all of these. And while you're here, if you want to get some stickers, I'll show you what's in here. I've got two Aquamate stickers that I'm sending out. And we've got business card, which is just a collector's item, <laughs> but a bit of fun to have. 
But I've also still got some stuff left over from the Underwater Pet Expo of some of my favorite uh, Aussie channels. So Prawn a lot. We've got a card for him. And we've also got Rumble's Fish Room. Um, we've got his cards too. So I'm sending out little packages of those. And you guys are going to hold me accountable and make sure it happens. And yes, my son's just there. Oh, he's gone now. <laughs> So let me just jump back to the chat. Uh, where were we up to? Sheps Aquatics, welcome. How are you? Alice, love the tank. That's what we said before. I still love it too. <laughs> Blake Howden, long time no see. How are you? Been a little too long. Well, hope you're all well. <laughs> Has been. Pooping. Oh, pooping. See ya. <laughs> are you being pooping? Oh. <laughs> my chat isn't this far down, so I can't see that you're all laughing right now. But anyway, I'll carry on and be an ult ultra professional. <laughs> uh, is that a saltwater tank? Zen Ginger? Yes, it is. Oh, almost lost that. Everyone's saying hello to each other. Megan's blog. Long time no see. Hope you're well. Hope you're well back home as well. Um, Aquarian thoughts. Hello, how you doing? Uh, where are we? Blah blah blah. Makes makes me want a saltwater tank. I know. <laughs> Wait, we'll go over and have a look. I'll I'll catch up with you guys, and then we'll go over and have a look. Everyone, making sure everyone's cool. That's good. Zen Ginger, five tips for beginners saltwater video. That is, that's the one there. So check it out at some stage. Do some cool shots with the Kessel light and stuff. That's right. I know what the light's brand name is. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it looks really good. And uh, I'm very excited to have it. Sarah Roper, hello. New name. How are you doing? Uh, you have Nemo's in there. Clownfish, welcome aboard, Ryan. Clownfish. <laughs> Everyone's guessing exactly the same thing. And I'm sure you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Uh, I think saltwater tanks are pretty. They are pretty. They're so they're really tricky to film. So that's like a whole new thing that I'm going to have to go through. Uh, lionfish, Sarah, they, I do like those. Um, Aquarian thoughts, you who stickers. You've got a bunch of my stickers. I've got a bunch of your stickers too. I actually gave some of your stickers to Dr. Black when he visited me, Aquarian thoughts as well. Uh, you know you can use a printer for that. For what? For doing what? The business cards? Um, am I already on that list? You are, Zen Ginger. I actually don't have you on this list, but I do remember. I think you sent me your details, so I'm going to check that out too. You have a different address, Aquarian Thoughts. Do you want more stickers, do you? You remember I sent you some and you had the Vegemite and your family chose, ate it and then they ended up 50-50 whether they liked it because I love that video. <laughs> Blake's Aquatics, five bucks because saltwater ain't cheap. <laughs> I gave you a five dollar super chat the other day. Now, now we're even, so I'm gonna have to do it again. Aren't I? <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Galaz Fish Tanks, send me a message, Rory. You've got my details. Send me a message, and I will put your address on one of these. I think I've got sixteen there, and I have. Let's check it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 in front of me so I can do six more. Uh, King's Aquariums. Do, do, do. Give me one second. I'll get to the bottom and what I'll do is I'll, I'll just I'll put it in now. If you would like to send your details over, send them over to this email and I'll try and get some stickers to ASAP. I'm listening in while playing with Shopify. Oh, you were talking about that on the chat before. I'm not sure what Shopify is, but it sounds cool. DNA Aquatics, hello, welcome. I'm being very slow on the chat, but generally I miss a lot of stuff in the chat, so I'm trying not to do that tonight. Um, Jay's Better Room, how are you doing? Don't forget to like the stream. Yeah, hit the like button. I've got 17 people watching and 10 likes so if that's you 
remember. Um, and Sir Peronolites just jumped in. Hello, how are you? <laughs> um, Sarah, you talking to me? <laughs> I'm assuming you're talking to someone else. <laughs> I'm going to bring Blake up. He's sitting behind the scenes. How are you doing, my man? Busted. Texting. How you going? <laughs> <laughs> nice and quick. Um, you going? What you up to? Uh, not a lot. Not a lot. Just, yeah, just got the kids in bed. So he asked me if I wanted a bit of a yarn, and I'm always up for that. So, yeah. Yes. Going well? No, I like, enjoy our uh, chat. It's like normally we have a chat on a Thursday night on your channel, and um, I just want to sort of mix it up a little bit. And as I said before, I've got to get this done and you guys are going to hold me accountable. So by the end of this stream, I'm going to have everyone's envelopes written out and then all I've got to do is go to the post office. I've got to get paid and then go to the post office <laughs> so I can send them. They're going to go all over the place. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. A few, a few astute watchers do see that I, I am working on the, the green screen stuff that I've got some. <laughs> no, I do. That jumper looks good. Now, what's hey, what's going on here? I feel like I'm missing something. Sarah's saying that only here for Aquamate, she's leaving now as soon as I brought you up. I've actually never <laughs> seen that name before, so I don't know what I've done. Maybe, maybe a past uh, um, I feel like there's something, there's something going on there, Sarah, but <laughs> you're always welcome to our streams. Maybe it's your dash and good looks. Maybe that's what she comes for. And I'm for who's? From that, from your <laughs> no, not mine. She, she's mine. got a Zach Galifianakis thing. Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> I don't have any uh, aviators to put on or any babies to hold at the moment. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tropicals yeah. TV, how are you doing? Everyone listening uh, in the background, moving house. Got to be out tomorrow. Gee, really? that's a stressful situation. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Best a, of luck with the move. An extra element, though. For fish people, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> um, but yes, I've lived in this the two days that I, I've had it. Um, I don't know if anybody knows about this, but I I um, used to have a Blake's Aquatics t-shirt, and within two days, I accidentally lit on fire. So I don't have that anymore. So what t-shirt? My my other Blake's Aquatics t-shirt. Not from the website, but from Vistaprint. Is that why you said uh, the other day to someone they were ordering some T-shirts and you're like, be careful, make sure they don't ma get on fire? I was like, oh, what's that mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it, it was on my birthday. I wasn't even, like, I was totally sober and everything. And, yeah, I just picked foot on fire. And there's even, like, a burnt patch, like, up here on the shoulder. So it's pretty scary. Oh, no. Got the adrenaline going. <laughs> That's too funny. All right. I'll show you while you're here because uh, you can do some commentary while I'm trying to do this bit. All right. Let's have a quick look at the saltwater tank and then I've got to get on and uh, write out these envelopes with you guys. Anyone might have just posted my email a little bit higher up. I think I've got room for four or five more people that I can send out some stickers. Um, there's a bunch of members that uh, I've already promised stickers to, so they're going to go. I'm going to do those ones at the moment. But just goes to show you don't have to be a member to get some of the free stuff. But you got to be in the right place at the right time. <laughs> so, um, total tropicals. I'm going to take that as you saying that I, I cut quite a trim figure. So thanks for the compliment there. But uh, yes, they go all the way up to five XL, mate. Actually, at the risk of giving you a big head. I thought when you put that jumper on, I was like, that jumper fits so well. Like a lot of these merchandise, T-shirts, jumpers and stuff, like it's really cool to get your logo on something. But then you yeah. get it and it's sort of like, it looks good, but it totally like my sleeves are down here. It doesn't fit the best yeah. or whatever. But speaking of that, I do know Nathan Fishboy got some new T-shirts and he looks pretty awesome in those. Um, with your permission, Nathan, I will show everybody what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Beach 27 how are you now let me try and yeah. jump in here um, I've oh, I think I've got to mute this don't I no worries you just get yourself organized there's plenty of great people here for me to talk to that's fine drunk on shrimp always drunk on shrimp 
Especially if they're those dog-sized shrimp. You know what I mean? I have fish room fever stickers, but I don't know what to do with them. Baby face? Yeah, I'll take that. I did enjoy people trying to guess how old I was when it was my birthday. But yeah, and no, I've always I've always um Yeah, I've always been a baby face. Uh Aquarium thought five to seven days they get them moved out. So it just depends on their idol. Star Wars Day. Bit of an echo. Is that better? Is that better? Um, not really. Ah. There you go. All right, how are we now? Speaking of Star Wars Day, I did sound a little bit like RTD2, but I think we're back on deck now. Yeah, we all good now? Yeah. Uh, well, hang on. I might as well. Uh, do a bit of a solo there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, uh, yes. So, A160 there, you got some couple of Othelaris <laughs> clownfish. You got the Goniopora flower pot coral up the back there with a nice sort of green. <laughs> That's just about. looking at this guy, guy. I just, all I see is colors and also these amazing red fish. Like, what are they? Did you use blow me to stick those um, Duncan uh, Dallas's in? The Dallas? Yeah. Is that stuck no. in the yellow super blue? No, I just shoved them into some uh, crevices. Oh, yeah, nice. Actually, Sam's put them. I was like, oh, okay. So, like a lot right now. And what we're talking about, everybody, Is, um, is it just me that's getting the lag or everybody? Then seeing him? his total lag out with, you know, his full, fully formed one. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. They look like this, like a bonsai on steroids in a nightclub or something. <laughs> they look yeah. incredible. I'm but, yeah, since that video, I've... I'm going to get some of that. Yeah, it's definitely. Well, he's got plenty of it, so you can easily grab some off him. I think. Yeah, because I was, I was never. I it's was an Australian, never, really cool too. It tells a bit of a. Yeah. Okay. It is lag. I just thought he was trying to talk over me. Everything I was saying. I think I'm lagging. I just thought you were trying to talk over me. <laughs> no, you're lagging pretty hard. You you talk and I won't say anything, and then it should work. out the video it's all about how i got a lot of these corals um i'm really bad with the names i'm still trying to learn them all i added this guy the back uh starts with g sure yeah, Blake knows what it that one <laughs> uh yeah and i got these two cute little clownfish as well they're miniature what's amazing about saltwater fish is you know when you get you know when you get uh, sorry, I don't know if I was just going out then. Yeah, yeah, you put them in your tank and you sort of lose a bit of colour. These guys lose no colour. Everything is, like, really consistent in their colours, which that blows me away with saltwater fish. But, uh, yeah, it definitely got a whole bunch of different corals going. So I've got, like, a really good starter sort of kit. Um, and this guy, over here, I hated him at first. I was like, it's an ugly coral. And now he's turning into, like, one of my favourites. So... Yeah, it's just a, a cool, fun experience. So it's a 90-litre tank with, uh, I think, a 40-litre sump and then, like, a 20-litre, maybe 25-litre top-off system. We've got the salt water now and the RO water. So I think Sam set me up pretty well as far as telling me what I need and... Unfortunately, I got this from my local fish store who had to close down 
it was one of their sort of display tanks that they just had the corals. Um, so it's kind of, at least it's good that it's going to live on because I know that they're not going to be doing anything with fish for a little while. So, yeah, and this light, look at it's just insane how blue it can go and then give you a different perspective of it. It's so, cool. when, when Sam was doing that video, he had an orangey filter that he flicked over the lens, didn't he? He did. He got them. Um, his looked a lot better. I'll jump up and join you guys now. All right. Um, yeah, no worries. I can answer a question about the Suntan 303B. Yeah, you can, Alice. Um, I didn't have it. Well, I still don't have a sump on mine. I used to, I've tried canisters, hang on backs, internal filters, and the one that I have now has like a built in sump. So you can filter them anyway, just like a fresh water tank. The main reason that a lot of people use uh, sumps is so they can put all their skimmer and the extra equipment in there out of the way. And canisters can be a bit of a nitrate factory. Especially in so I'm trying to go back through all the uh, the comments that I missed. Um, yeah, with the clownfish, I think that's because they're scaleless. Like clown loaches as well, I feel are pretty similar. Like they just they don't really look that different when you put them in. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but but yeah, the the scaleless look is a good one for fish, I reckon. The Sun Sun HW303. Uh, I can hear, yeah, you are cutting out a little bit, Blake, but I don't know. Am I still cutting out, everybody? Get a little bit of a, a check. Maybe it was just my phone. Maybe maybe it wasn't. <laughs> I love it. There we go. I've just got a couple of emails saying, I want stickers. I want stickers. <laughs> awesome. I reckon I've got maybe two more envelopes. So... I'll just go turn off the modem and turn it back on. That usually All right, try happens. that. And then when Blake gets back, I'm going to um, going to start writing out these envelopes and just fire questions and I'll keep trying to read the chat. Um, all right, so I'm good. Blake's just having a few issues. Blake Howden, new member. Welcome aboard, Blake. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Um, for those of you that... Uh, aren't members. Uh, we're just working on like a little project. So there's like a little behind the scenes thing that we're doing that I'm still going to present to everybody. Everyone's going to get to see it. Uh, but I've just asked a few people's opinions and we've got like a, like a tiny little mini series. I've done two episodes in three weeks. So it's not like it's every week. Um, I've been very conscious of doing something that's going to be, you know, take up too much um, of the normal channel time. So, uh, we've just got like sort of like a little bit of a one or two minute vlog every every week or so where we're going to make some decisions and once the decisions are made, we'll put it all together and then it's something that we can uh, present to the whole channel. I think that's a really good way to do it. Um, so, yes, I appreciate that. So, Blake, check that out and make sure you vote on the next one, which should be, oh, I'm at a stage where I actually have to do, have to change a lot with, the next part. So it might, I think it might be early next week or maybe in the weekend. Um, let me get out of here. Uh, yeah, Blake sounds like a robot now. <laughs> Josh is clear. I think it was my phone and Blake, when he jumped on, he was just a little bit pixelated anyway. Hands up as well if any of you guys have salt water. So I've been keeping fish for... 27 years um, and I've always been scared of salt water. So it was just sort of a case of the right place at the right time. I got it for maybe a third of the price I probably would have expected to pay for if I decided to walk in and buy everything brand new and start from scratch and say, you know, I'll work this out on my own. I'll figure it out. So the fact that it was all sort of there um, and the price, I just went – you know what, if I don't do this now, I'll never do salt water and I don't want to do that. So, <laughs> yeah, we're oh, 10 days in. 
the fish are only two or three days in. I've filmed half a video of getting them. So you guys are all going to know exactly what's going on when I do the getting new fish and try and do a surprise what the fish are. But uh, judging by everyone's reactions, I think everyone's going to think of clownfish as well. Uh, my pest, sorry, my question is posted above in chat as well if anyone misses it. Uh, was that the, the Sun Sun 80? I don't know anything about the Sun Suns. I think uh, Rumble's fish room, he's done a special on the Sun Sun ones. No, I'm trying to think if it's a Sun Sun 80 or if it's a different one. Actually, no, I thought I thought this one over here. It was I did get a, a tank given to me with a couple of um, large goldfish a long time ago because they just couldn't keep them anymore. And for some reason, I thought it was the sun sun for a second, just because it's white. Blake, no worries. I'll keep an eye out for sure. And Ryan. Keep an eye out. You're new now to the uh, the members program. Uh, salt is just worse if you get it in your mouth during water changes. That's that's true. <laughs> um, haven't done that yet. That's why I got the 20, 20 liter um, drum of salt water and RO water. I reckon in another day or two. I haven't got the ATO set up. I might do a video on figuring that out. Um, but it's kind of funny as well. Like lots of us keep lots of fresh water. I just said before, do any of you keep salt water? Uh, Chevy, sorry, I missed your comment. Nathan, I would be stressed out with the UV light issues. They're not doing much power. Maybe I'm missing a couple of things. Uh, I think that's the only way you'd start a salt water is by getting a new, uh, sorry, one that's already established. Exactly. Um, so I think... <laughs> because it was like that and then getting the salt water. I haven't done any water changes yet. And what I need to do is use that 25 liter, this tank down here, you can see. You can fill that up with RO water and then I've got an an ATO, automatic top up. So I've got like a, a sensor that sits in the sump and it's hooked up to the protein skimmer and it has a little pump that then lives in that little tank just down there. We fill that up with RO water, and as the water level drops, it automatically fills up with RO water. I haven't got that bit sorted yet. So at the moment, I'm manually just putting in the RO water. But I think what the issue is, I think I just need a magnet, and I need to probably just spend an hour on it because last time I tried to turn the protein skimmer on, it like filled up, overflowed, and I'm like, I haven't got something plugged in properly. So that will be fun if I work it out. You guys can be like, oh, he worked it out. That looks cool. If I don't work it out, you can all probably just sit there with some popcorn and have a laugh. <laughs> Kings Aquariums, take care. See you later. Thanks for joining us. Um, doo -doo. Was a license. You were a licensed marine collector for about 11 years. Everything was free. Kept marines for about 40 plus years and closed my last marine last year. Well, there you go. We're hoping one day to catch up with you, Tropical TV, uh, Total Tropicals TV. So that would be uh, something I would be asking a lot of questions about. I had anemones with clownfish in my teen years, which I kept up with the hobby and didn't get discouraged. Might be strictly salt water if I hadn't quit. Well, that's that's the aim is to get some anemone to go in there. But it sounds like anemones can be a right pain in the butt. <laughs> as well so it's going to be funny it could go one way and look beautiful it could go the other way and maybe pull my hair out <laughs> how you going with the sound do i sound like hello i'm just taking one last look at my friends say three po4 i don't back. know what that's from but yeah <laughs> now you sound good now you're a little bit pictures a bit laggy but not too bad at all it's because there's a storm stormy weather stuff's around the internet here no fair enough Blake um, is better. <laughs> hey, yeah. Chewy, good morning. Actually, can we do a bit of glory thievery here? I know that um, you'll be up for this anyway, but Bodgy's actually four subscribers off 200. Let's oh, get no, him. not Bodgy. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's make him five away. Somebody unsubscribe now. I already have. <laughs> That's why he's four. <laughs> Zen Ginger, are you able to help me? <laughs> 
Uh, sorry, I'm just reading Alice's thing there. Just got a notification. Aquamate is live 28 minutes ago. Yeah, Zen Ginger, are you able to post a link for Bodgy's channel? Because four people, I don't know. How many we got in here? 19. Uh, if you guys haven't got Bodgy, the kid well and truly deserves more subscribers. I need a pen. You'd think I'd be ready for this, hey? Or a stamp maybe would be the go. Damn. Thanks, Zen. Love getting people to milestones, so I couldn't help myself. No, no, it's good. Um, I'll be back in a minute. No problemo. So, yes, hopefully my internet isn't a drama tonight, but storms and actually this time of the night as well is generally not good. So just keep me honest if you can't hear or see me. I mean, if you can't see me, it's not that big of a deal. It's probably a bonus. But if you can't hear me. Nice, Chewy. Yeah, a bit of storm action. Real windy, which is the worst part. I just, like, I can handle rain and all that easy. I just don't like wind. Especially because we got an older sort of set up here so and of course it knocks around the hair am i right bodgy um but yeah we've got an older sort of house so makes a lot of noise wakes the kids up dog doesn't like it all that sort of stuff so yeah it's less than ideal yeah blake um that was ripping weekend actually it was, it was it was awesome and i think it's all because it was my birthday so yeah got out and about a fair bit like yeah, I've been taking the dog for two walks a day, so he's pretty happy. Hitting nine, yeah, it's pretty cold. What happened? Everyone go quiet when I left. Oh uh, yeah, I was I, I was panicking here by myself. I nearly had to reel out a few memes just to pass the time. <laughs> <laughs> I like memes. Um, <laughs> was it? Yeah, my son said the other day, he's like, <laughs> so my son uses my YouTube, not Aquamate. I have a, like a personal one. Yeah. And he uses that to watch his FGTV and press and play <laughs> and unspeakable and all those, those guys. And, uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, I just noticed that when I go into my personal one, that I'm giving myself a thumbs down for everything. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah, that's me. And I'm like, but I haven't noticed anything for a little while. And he's like, yeah, I unsubscribed to you. I was like, oh, <laughs> thanks a lot. It's like, you don't do enough memes. <laughs> I'm like, you're not watching, so you don't know. I've been trying to lift my meme game. <laughs> yeah, your meme game's been good lately, I thought. <laughs> um, I was watching. Some, some exciting stuff going on with the fish breeding. So I've got the two spawns of betters. They're still going well. And I've got CPDs and Emerald Rasboras on the go too. Do you want so you to got... see, see my Emerald Rasbora slash CPD breeding setup? Uh, does that answer your question? <laughs> oh, my hand's invisible. Oh, you're going to see all my secrets. Can you see this here? What you do is you get... Fish room, hang yeah. On, hang on, breeder box. Oh, I should turn the green screen off one minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, how do I turn it off? Oh, yeah. Just like that. Okay, so right there is a hang on breeder box that, you know, goes by air. So there's water constantly going through. You get yourself just some marbles. And actually Bunnings sells these, 650 grams, which is that, that's exactly one container, 650 grams. Um, line the bottom of that and then just put moss on top. And then the CPDs and animal raspberries and any egg scattering fish, they'll just swim around on top of it, scatter the eggs everywhere. They'll go below the marbles so they won't be able to eat them. And then just leave them in there for like two, three days. And then you can take them out, put them back in the main tank, and your babies will hatch out. And then just 
for the end for the exit, just put a bit of sponge there instead of that gate sort of thing that you get. That's my story. No, it looks, it's very cool. I was just um, I was trying to find Bodgy on my messenger. That's all. Where is he? Why would you want to do something like that? Oh, I don't know. Why would I? I'm really bad with this stuff now. I can't even work Facebook. Urgh. <laughs> what is my? Oh, I thought my head was cut off, but it's just the flatness of my hair. Good times. The flatness of my hair. Bodgy, send me a message on Messenger. I can't see you. <laughs> oh, no, I found you. Here we go. Are you just trying to link him? Or is that 198? 198? Yeah. 298? 198? 198. Oh, so we only need two more. And the one that, <laughs> the one that, wait, did he need, how many did he need? Because I subbed on my second channel. <laughs> so I was one of them. Oh, we can play that. <laughs> I was listening to someone talking about burner accounts on the way home today. It was pretty funny. Because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, what's his name? He's like a journalist. Uh, for Channel 7, surnamed Brown. It's always on like that Thursday night footy show on Channel 7. Like like um, Jonathan Brown? Nah. I have to remember. But anyway, they started accusing him this morning of... Oh, Tom Brown. Yeah, that's it, Tommy Brown. That's but There we go. <laughs> Double Blake. <laughs> um, and... <laughs> that's my burner account. They're accusing him of having a burning burner account called Jimmy Jones. Yeah, I heard Jimmy that. Jones goes in the bat for him every single time he gets <laughs> gets grief on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that's why I created the Black Howden YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> nice, we got in there. Well done, Bodgy. Well deserved, mate. Thanks for everyone for helping out. Congratulations, that's awesome. It'd be good if he was here to celebrate with us. Oh, he is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you, everyone? Congratulations, dude. That's awesome. Oh, God. I've got the stream playing. Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. That's I'm so stoked about that. No, yeah. anytime. I, I might cry. <laughs> Don't know, mate. As I've always said, you just need to stop that schoolwork and get some more content out there. School oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's some good life advice. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm getting through these. God, oh, stickers. The addresses are really weird. <laughs> Crazy. My quarry's had eggs today, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. And hopefully... Have you got any news? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, hopefully I can get some baby quarries. Um, Did the razor blade them off the side? Yeah. Well, the funny thing is I actually laid it on my heater guard. So oh. it's like I could just slip that off and then take the eggs off and then I just put it in the breeder box. So hopefully. You could, you could make yourself a DIY heater guard. Oh, yeah. You should do that. I did a video on that today. Oh, nice. What is a How do you do that? I did a video on it. You'll have to watch the video. Hang on. Wait, sorry. I'm just noticing someone else in the chat is near 200 as well. Oh, oh, oh Alice. Hey. Yeah, Alice, near 200. How do you look up people's channels? Because oh, no. you can't click on the dots anymore and then uh, just find it. Interesting. Oh, my. There's a lot of Alice KHs out there. That's what I was worried about because nothing against you, Alice, but most people with the, just their normal first name or whatever, whenever I search for them in YouTube, it ends up coming up with about 10,000. I'm looking for it anyway. Alice? There's one with 50,000 subscribers. Alice, what are you doing? You've got to take back the reins. Oh, there's another batch of Corey eggs. Oh, oh here what? we go. I found it. <laughs> I think Alice is joking. She's at 68 subscribers. But I will still share. Mm, hang on. Me, Miss Alice. 
Subscribe to Bodgy from Australia with 200 subscribers. Yes. <laughs> I did a really uh, silly mistake yesterday. I did a water change and I forgot to turn my heater back on. So quick advice, turn your heater back on. Uh, yes, that causes issues because yeah. what I did actually, I was going to tell you guys about this. I just forgot. <laughs> put in a new PowerPoint. So my brother-in-law's a Sparky. So I put in a new PowerPoint here <clears throat> and here and two more over here because I've only got two in the garage. I was running like 35 plugs off two PowerPoints. So spread that out a little bit so that we don't burn the house down. Uh, and I plugged everything into its own power board for the saltwater tank. Came out in the morning and um, all the corals were like, I hate you, Josh. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, what's happened? <laughs> And then I feel the tank. I'm like, oh, it's cold. It was like 15 degrees in the tank, and I just hadn't quite plugged the heater back in properly. So, yeah. Well, I've got an even worse excuse than both of you. At least you're both doing practical things. Mine, there's a power board just over here, and for a while I used to put a light right here, like just off screen to yeah. help with the green screen, and I would unplug the heater for the better sorority. <laughs> And swap that over. But then a couple of times, you know, I'd do six-hour streams and all that, and then I'd just totally forget because it's the middle of the night. And no, right, eh? Then I'd just stroll in the next day and, oh, whoops. So <laughs> I didn't even have the excuse. I was just an idiot trying, to, trying yeah. to talk to people on the internet. Lucky for me, my room is pretty warm, so it's like the, the temperature was maintained pretty well. It didn't go below 20 degrees, so... Um, but I, I just, and the only reason I realized it is because um, because the quarries had laid their eggs on the heater guard, I was like, if I have to take the heater out, I have to turn the switch off. So I opened up the cabinet and, yeah, I forgot to turn the heater back on. That's probably why they bred. They love a bit of a cooler water. So. Oh, really? Well, yeah. yeah, this time there's been a crazy amount of eggs. There's, I just realized there's another batch right here. And as I was looking, there's another batch in the back, but they've been eaten. I need to rescue these eggs now. So, what quarries are they? They're just bronze quarries, but I'm still a sucker for corridors. Good old fashioned anus corridors. <laughs> what? That's what they're called. Corridors right. anus. There's actually a anus, but. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I guess you learn something new every day. <laughs> Couple um, of bronze anuses. I, <laughs> I've i never been a fan of Corey's and then I got um, three yeah, bronze yeah. Corey's for my um, my main tank. And, yeah, the bronze Corey's, they're like a gateway Corey. They're just yeah. wrong. Wrong. You have been a fan of Corey, Doris. You actually never did catfish ever. Mm. What was that word? This, this is before that. This is like... Oh, this is way before a pygmy quarry was a twinkle in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would trigger Zen also. And you should get triggered by me calling him anus quarry. <laughs> <laughs> I love what you said, the bronze <laughs> uh, Chevy says he lays his uh, heat is low so he can keep on for, for changes. Yeah, I did say changes, Yeah. I've been trying. Actually, been swapping some of mine out. This uh, dry start tanks, the Monte Carlo is coming in nicely, but yeah, now I'm like, oh, I've got to add a heater to it, and I'm trying to figure out how I can try and hide it because I've already got the rocks up against the back. Yeah. Um, but I did find Oasis. Is it Oasis? Is that how you say it? Or Oasis? Oase. Oase. Um, get off filters. your Oase and get one of them filters. <laughs> I Wait, found can you get them here? Coburg Australia. Aquarium has like a big thing full of them. But so apparently um, the heaters aren't like to standard yet in Australia. So you've got to buy them. They can't get the heater in yet. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, I wanted one. But they, they're not cheap and also way too overpowered for my, I'm going to say, 50 litre tank. I don't know. You know what I think would be cool with canister filters? Because, like, you can do this with sponge filters. You get one single air pump and you can run, like, ten tanks on them. It mm. would be cool if you can get one canister filter and run ten or fifteen tanks on them. You know? It's like you get you just get one massive fluval FX6 and run, like, a hundred ten-gallon tanks. 
Yeah. That'd be a big one. You could maybe, but you'd have to do it like how I made that waterfall tank with the mm. connect the tanks up. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the output at one one end. Ah, oh, true. Trouble with that is if you get ick in one tank, you've got ick in ten tanks. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That true. That's a fair point. And with sponge filters, since they're isolated in the tank, it's not a big deal. I'm thinking aquarium thoughts. I'm thinking paleatus. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Paleatus. Good old salt and pepper cories are the paleatus. I used to have a salt and pepper corridor that was like on steroids. It was <laughs> thick. Did, is it because you kept injecting it with steroids? No, I did. Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it was just a thick corridor. Ah. Uh. Hey, Matty D, how you doing? Welcome. Um, there's a comment here. I don't do this at all, Shep. I cold shock killed a discus and some rummy nose tetris, but stupidly forgot to heat the water before adding it back to the tank after a 50% water change. Who Do you guys heat your water before you put it back in? Yeah, yeah. well, with me, I've got, like, I fill my water up from my bathtub, so it's... It's like I just chuck a pump in there and I get warm water that flows into the tub. Mm. So the water just pumps out from there into the tank. Warm water that flows into the tub. Hang on, so you turn your hot... Well, technically what I've got is I put a bucket under the tap of the bathtub and I've got... so I Because it's a cold and hot tap thing, I can control the temperature. Um, the water is flowing into the bucket and I've got a pump in the bucket that pumps the water out into the tank. Yep. What about you, yeah. Blake? Mm. He's eating. I don't. I always put cold water straight back in every time. So I used to do that, but it annoyed me because I didn't <laughs> – I prefer to do 50% water changes once mm -hmm. a week. Um. And I used to just water change from an outdoor tap because I didn't have a hose long enough. And, yeah, then I'd do two 20% water changes a week so that it didn't shock them too much. But now I just have a giant hose that runs, you know, runs the same line as my internet cord into the house. And then I do the similar thing to you, Bodgy. I just have a mixer and a tap connected to the yeah. kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was back when I had the old six foot tank, uh, which is like on the opposite side of the room to the five foot. Um, I have a window right there. So I just open the window up and then use the backyard hose. Yeah. But during the winter months, it would get way too cold. So it was annoying. Yeah, so, and yeah. For people who are like, well, how do you do that? You would have to run inside to turn off the tap. Well, that's why I have a tap on my filling thing so yeah it has pressure all the time and then i just turn it on and off at these ball valves here perfect and the thing that really made me uh get the, the pump and actually make sure that i'm using heated water is when i set up the five foot tank um since it was new like i had to fill the whole thing up with cold water um, and then i put the heaters in there the heaters were going for probably about two or three hours then i thought okay it's time that we add the fish because at the time they were in a bucket so mm. I put the fish in and I nearly lost one of my Roseland sharks. Um, it was like the cold had completely got to it. It was pretty much dead. And I stayed up until one o'clock at night, constantly prodding it with a stick, like a, like a stick or something to keep it moving. And mm. yeah, then it, then it kicked up. So after that, I was like, no, nah, I have to sort out this cold water issue. Yes, Josh. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to read something, to be honest. Oh, I thought you were trying to interject. Wow, I must have spelled that wrong. Jeez. Yeah, because in summer, in summer it was fine, but in winter it was coming out super cold. So mm -hmm. I just wasn't into that. So my ho my whoa, I nearly okay. My hose got so frozen that when I went to do the water change yesterday, the hose snapped. <laughs> like it was that cold and because the whole it like coils right so when i was trying to pull the coil out it just broke in half yeah yeah it's crazy it and then weird. what happened is the dog because we got the dog as a puppy right and then it, i would turn it on and we'd have like all these shoots of water coming up along the hose from where he's bitten <laughs> holes in it so i got oh, some fun. 
I got some of those like hooks, you know, like, and I just screwed them in along the balcony. Oh, yeah, the yeah. House. So the hose is up the top now. I named one of my Congo Tetris Arnold. Get down. Because <laughs> it, it genuinely looks like his bicep. <laughs> it's not a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> it looks exactly like his bicep. Like it's just a solid muscle and then another solid muscle. <laughs> and it, I, I'm, I honestly think one of these, con like a few of them are like short body Congo Tetras. They're weird. Like some yeah. of them are long and then one of them is just like stubby. Yeah, right. Um, I, was, I, don't, I don't like mix anything up, but I do put the CCAM safe in first and then just put the tap in there. But that's because I have chloramine here, so I can't just hope that the chlorine will evaporate out like other people can. Yep. Alrighty, guys. I have to jump off the stream. School day. Home. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> so we love you and hate you at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have, have Thanks, fun with guys. you guys. <laughs> Shut up, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. So if that was Bodgy, if you guys haven't uh, got Bodgy, I'm sure most of you do, but definitely get him, give him that little buffer over the 200 and uh, make sure you're subscribed. And JH, how are you? Hey, How's it going? How's the move gone? How's it all happening? How's all the changes? I keep missing your streams now because you get up too early. From oh, I get up. You're on too early for me. <laughs> well, <laughs> try and catch I, it in. I won't be missing JH Aquatic streams because every second week I'm going to be following JH Aquatics now. There you go. There's a segue. <laughs> Perfect. And just if anyone's sitting there going, what the hell is Josh doing? Uh, I am writing out the addresses for all these stickers that I'm sending to everybody. So if you would like something, or one of these, I think I've got about four left. Just send me an email um, and I will add you to the list. The reason I'm doing this on a stream is so that you can all hold me accountable and make sure that this all happens. Yeah, so I think it's going to be good anyway. Doing fortnightly is probably good because two streams a week is probably a bit excessive, but one and a half streams a week is not too bad. Yeah, so what's the go? So you'll be doing. Oh, Ryan, did you send me your details on that message? Um, sorry, I just saw your message there. Make sure you send me your details, Ryan. <laughs> Surely you could just send it to the shop. Alice wants a T-shirt. Well, <laughs> there is actually a merchandise. There's a Teespring. It would be easier for you to get, Alice, I think, <laughs> than, uh, than me trying to send one halfway around the world. Maddie D, send one to Rumble for me. Rumble's got – oh, no, she doesn't have any of this stuff. But right, there's some Rumble stuff in here as well. It's not just stickers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thirsty, how are hey, you? Hey, Thirsty. How are Seriously, you, mate? Um, Thirsty, I am waiting for the post office. I'm going to speak to them in the next two days about sending some fish up to you and getting the right um, pricing. And I'm putting all the stickers in, and then I turn this one around, and I'm about to chuck it in an envelope, and I'm like, uh, that's Thirsty Rabbit, <laughs> special one. Oh, that way. So <laughs> this one's for you, Thirsty. We're going to work out the shipping for the fish, and this is going to go with it. Hey, oh. I agree. Ugly man, you're here. Go on, ask me about the salt water tank now. Where's the salt? Where's the salt? Mm. I delivered. <laughs> That's the whole reason you hired that salt water tank. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You've hired it one day a week for the ongoing future. Just, <laughs> just that's. I can only get it Tuesday. So my streams are now Tuesdays, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the removalist costs are going to be a bit exorbitant, but smart move. <laughs> Well, it's not mine. I don't own it. <laughs> <laughs> God. Trying to read my handwriting from 
ages ago writing all these addresses down. I'm not impressed with myself. <laughs> <laughs> So what's coming up in the next couple of videos on Blake's Aquatics? Well, I was saying to you earlier today, I need to just get back to basics, I reckon. I need to pump out a few good guides and stuff like that. But um, I guess that's an interesting segue. Nobody knows about this. Maybe you don't even know about this yet. Um, so you know how, like, what was it, two weeks ago I got that mystery box? I did the mystery box. Yep. But... When I when I did the mystery box, like the fish were all good, but they were fish that I already had. Yes, yeah, they were really cool fish. But yes, you actually had. Was CPD yeah. in there? Is that right? Yeah, CPDs, pygmy corys, um, daisies, rice fish, and green neon tetras. And that was cool. But the whole inspiration, like the whole thing, I was hyped about the mystery box was for like force breeding projects. You know, like just puts me out of my comfort zone. Like here's these fish, breed them, sort of thing. So, I um, yeah, I'm getting another mystery box. It's on the way now, actually. So, should be tomorrow. Um, and sorry, was it the same? So, is it like the next version of the one that you got? Like yeah. So I went, I went the one up. So the first one was like the sixty bucks. This one was the one fifty. So, you know, I'll, I'm bound to get something that I don't already have. Oh, good. You hope. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hope. True. Ugly man wants a guide on hair care. How do you keep it so silky? <laughs> well, you should know, Derek. Boo, Lander. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, how are you? He's muted. You can dare oh, lick my... <laughs> I, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed mute instead of the... <laughs> <laughs> I can dare lick my own... Thank you very much. I love you, Linda. Oh, Matt's having technical difficulties. Um, so, yeah, last time I got the $50 plant and the $60 fish, and this, this time I got the $50 plant and the $150 fish. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got... Oh, where is it? What is this? A center for ants? It needs to be at least... Four times bigger than this. How are kids expected to be able to learn how to read good if they can't even fit inside the building? 100 bucks says I'll stuff this up, but I got some Alternanthera. Renekia. 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 Mini? Reneki? E. Mini or not? Mini. I don't know, actually. It doesn't say. Uh, yeah, you got the big one. Nice. What do you think? I got it for free when I oh. bought the clownfish. Yeah. Uh, what did I get? I got clownfish and RO water, and they ran it all up. And I was like, oh, and I'll get one of these too. And they're like, it's too hard. Just have it for free. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I've actually popped it in the shrimp tank, the the 10-liter shrimp tank over there to see how it goes. I'm hoping if it goes well, because it's red, it just breaks the whole thing up. And I put a little uh, Anubius in there just – the different greens, yeah. But the, um, the bacopa in there has gone nuts. It's just like standing right up now. It's like super happy. I'm like, okay. Uh, but we yeah. better. I'll make you. I'll uh, please you. I it does say me. beginner care, so I was like, I don't think. I think this should be all right without CO two. There you go, ugly. You can have two doses of blue glow backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Shep. Quickly set up a saltwater tank so you can have one in the background. <laughs> I'm going to have to now, Matt. Um, how are you? <laughs> but yeah, Josh, it will get it will get quite tall. So maybe a okay. background number in that shrimp tank. It says forward to mid, but yes, I will. Um, I might move it if it actually takes off. I might move it around a bit. But mm. I have sort of put it up near the rocks. You it's can actually so much better now. Like it's just gone another level, and I'm. Yep. I really want to get more of this other one that you gave me. The one that I used to call it foxtail growing up. <laughs> Zen. Alternathera renekii. <laughs> it's Wingardium leviosa, not leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Amanda, you can come up here and you can start <laughs> saying these names for me so I don't make an idiot of myself. <laughs> Natural Aquariums, hello. How are you? <laughs> oh, where did it go? <laughs> Hey, Mr. B, how are you? Thank you for all that you do. I haven't seen you for a while on uh, any of our streams. But, um, Jim, Blake's gotten obsessed with memes since the last time you saw us. <laughs> Griffin, do I win the house cup? Well done. All right, that's that. Now. Hey, Mr. B. Okay, I've got... All I've caught up on all of the uh, the mail. So Matt, I just literally just wrote one out for you. <laughs> and now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six emails from this stream saying, Can I have one too? And absolutely. So let's get to work on those. <laughs> and I sent I sent out the prizes from my uh, from my spare of the moment giveaway on Rumble stream. <laughs> What was that? So Rumble was doing his his Nautilus giveaway on a stream on Sunday. Oh but yes, he, he was taking forever. He was counting up to like two hundred and seventy, like because he he didn't put it in his spreadsheet. So I was like, no, nah, this this giveaway needs more hype. So I just grabbed a bag of Picari and I was like, who wants this? Guess a number between one and fifty. And then that was quite fun. So I was like, let's do it again. And then a few people got close. So I was like. You get a bag. You get a bag. You get a bag. And I sent it out today, but you went over on it. Maybe. But... What did you give away? What was it? Um, you know, there's like 250 gram bags of uh, Hikari foods. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. Like the big ones. Not. Um, gave... Not. Uh, what do you call them? Extreme. <laughs> no. Um... Algae wafers, different f different okay. type of food. Because I always bought the, I used to buy all the Hikari algae wafers, but not anymore. <laughs> uh, where are we? Oh, all right. So we've got one there. Reply. The these ones. Uh, I should probably look when you say that, hey. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've never had those before. For scale. Are they good? Yeah. yeah. So you're yeah. sending some internationally or are they all local? No. If I worked, literally it was like I was just sitting here bored listening to Rumble being like 211, 212, 213. So I was like, no. Nah. And I just put in about a millisecond of thought into this. But if I put more thought into it, I would have, like, figured out how much it costs on Amazon or something and then just ordered it from there to, to the States. But I haven't looked it up yet. Plus, I already have heaps of bags of that stuff here, so I didn't really want to buy some when I already have more than I'll ever use. Yeah, fair enough. But um, so international people did win. Uh, Zen won one of them and she donated it to Prawny and Lefty won another one and donated it to Blackie. That's good. I actually all... gave away four, but the fourth person never contacted me. So bonus for next time I decide to do that. <laughs> I'll have it. Unless they contact me. Well, I'm just glad I had some of this stuff laying around when the um, clan killies turned up. <laughs> what are they for? Oh, yeah, I was not expecting the clan killies to be so bloody small. <laughs> yeah, I think I said it in a in a live stream of um, top ten top dwellers. I said, if you've never seen clan killies outside of like a photo, if you see him in a fish up, you're like, oh, really? They're that small? And yeah, they act, they are. Hey, like, <laughs> yeah, I, I I put them in my. I was gonna put them in um like a quarantine tank, and when I got them, I was like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna put them straight in the fish tank. I'll never get them out of that quarantine tank. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure you got like borderline glad wrap on the top of that, or cling film on the top of that, because they they do rock it straight out the top. <laughs> yeah, it's in one of them little um, what is it? Uh, Kmart tank, so it's pretty well enclosed. 
Yeah, Zen. Maybe some kind of saltwater scrub can donate him some Hikari now that he's joined the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Ugly can donate you some food. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, um, that was a serious question. Why don't you get Hikari? I think that's because you're onto the um, op- ocean nutrition now, aren't you? Uh, sorry, who had the question? You? Um, no, somebody said, oh, natural aquariums. Did something happen to Hikari? Why does Aquamate not get the algae wafers anymore? No, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I've got two more addresses to write. So I was just like, oh, I'm getting close. Uh, <laughs> no, because I got sent. See you, Chef. See ya. <laughs> hey, Chef. <laughs> yeah, I got sent the extreme. Um, they call it cat scrapers, algae wafers. Uh, and I've been using them every day since. And seriously, the, my sail fin pleco just goes nuts for them. Actually, all the fish go nuts for them. So I actually used to only feed like one or two just for the pleco. Um haven't used these yet, but I've got those as well. So I've got a a good con- collection from um from Korean Pet Central last ocean week. Free, isn't it ocean free? Not not ocean nutrition. No, yeah, they're ocean free, and mm-hmm. then they're yeah, extreme. So I've been using those at the moment, and then I've got an API <laughs> pack of APIs. So I hit a point where I had no algae wafers, and now I have heaps of them. Um, so nah, just for convenience, I've never used Nori because then I'd have to buy one of those magnetic clip doodads. <laughs> like Josh is extreme now. Um, that's right, yeah. Now Josh likes to take it to the extreme. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got two more of these, and then I'm gonna be able to concentrate better. <laughs> oh. Blake, I've got your email, but you didn't put an address. <laughs> I'll reply. <laughs> I didn't send one. Oh, can't spell, of course. Wrong, Blake. Plus, you have my address. Didn't you put it at the top of your diary when you visited my house? In my little black book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> overdue, uh, for a, overdue for a lap around. Got some fish you can you can have. I bred those golden wonders for you. I know. I'd love them. You know what's happened? Um, I've kind of I've stuffed up. I've lost a real opportunity. I was trying to film. I might be able to get enough footage together, but I have destroyed that blackbeard algae in that main tank. Hmm. Uh, and which means. I can now start doing what I wanted to do to it. And you know what? If I decide not to go with um, any rainbows in there, I think that the the pan shacks would be a good alternative. Mm. Well, the last few days of because, uh, I mean, I am selling stuff on Gumtree at the moment purely out of necessity and um, – like just to clear room so that I can start with some new stuff. And, yeah, the last couple of days some people came in and they're like, oh, what are these? And I have sold a couple of them, but I am keeping some for you. No, oh, I appreciate it because I love them. I had them, yeah, what was it? I think I've had them twice before. I had them once. I got one small one when um I had the discus and it was fine for a while, but then it got some sort of fin rot or something, I think. And mm. then... The next time was um, – sorry, the first time was years and years before that in a community tank, and I just think they're brilliant. They, they are like literally mini arowanas. That's the way they look, but with all this color and everything. Nick, keeping fish simple, how are you? First time seeing Shep here? Yes, I think it's the first time you've been on the channel. My channel, isn't it? We've always been on Blake's channel before, Matt. Yeah, I've always been on Blake's channel, yeah. Where is that? I charge to be on mine, so no. <laughs> I, as I as I say that, and I'm writing stuff out to send you free stuff. 
<laughs> oh, God. No, I, I love watching my um... Okay, Blake, fine. <laughs> fine. I'll have to give these ones to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love feeding my um, blue pan checks in the waterfall tank. Now I've got the red root floaters. They just sort of come out from underneath it and underneath the red root floaters and smash the feed and yeah, all that sort of stuff. Then you put in... um. Mosquito larvae and just watch them go absolutely nuts. I <laughs> uh, will be KFS, yeah. Where are we? The sparkling garamis. Ooh. I don't get anything without the intention to breed it. Yeah, you're always you're straight on to it, aren't you? I um now hang on. So sparkling garamis, are they they're a labyrinth? Does that mean that they have like a bubble nest? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So they're in there on their own, I'm assuming? Not at the moment, um, but eventually. I just got to get those neon tetras and stuff out of there. But I've heard that um, they don't always do a bubble nest. They can go either way. Yeah, okay. so I've heard they, um, they'll do a, they can do a bubble nest, but they'll find like a – a log or a bit of driftwood or something and do the bubble nest under that, like down yeah. the bottom of the aquarium. Interesting. Uh, where are we? Yeah, because I've actually got a couple in, yeah, this big tank here. And yeah. every now and then you see the male blowing bubbles underneath my driftwood and stuff like that. <laughs> hey, Nick, why are you here? If you want, I've got... Well, everybody I've got, but Nick, you just got here. Four more. Oh, no, three more. Sorry, because Blake just sent his address. Uh, three more sets of stickers and stuff. So if you want, send me an email. It doesn't matter if you're in America, if you're in Brazil, you're in Europe, you're in Geelong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of somewhere worse than Geelong. I can't. Um, <laughs> Even I hate that. <laughs> just send me an email because the next – Three, I will. Uh, I'll send them out to you, and it's all free. So yes, is that all the stuff left over from the expo? It is actually because I I don't have any of your stuff unfortunately, but I've got some Rumble and um, Sir Prawn a lot stuff in there. But mm. hey, it's all some a little bit of a freebie. Offered it up to a lot of the members, and uh, while I'm doing this and catching up, these some people here ask like we've done a bit of a sticker swap. Like me and Madfish Steva, uh, who's in America, where's she? She's in uh, Dayton, Ohio. We, we organized to do this like four months ago and she sent her stuff and I didn't send mine yet. So getting on top of that, getting on top of all the member stuff and, uh, yeah, anyone that can send me an email in the next few minutes, I'll get them sorted too. And um, they weren't that expensive, KFS. They were... Four bucks each or five bucks each, something like that. Not too bad. From Nano Tanks Australia. I was going to say, I think I paid six bucks at the local fish store here. Yeah. We did have one DOA, but um, yeah, they were okay about refunding and stuff. I actually didn't even bother refunding because I was like, it's fine. <laughs> I almost wrote Blake's Aquatics instead of Blake Howden. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> If you've already wrote Blake's Aquatics, just write the better Blake's Aquatics. Oh. <laughs> that was a burn on myself, not on Blake Howden. Well, it depends which address I write, I suppose, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've already got all that stuff. I have I know. I'm that's putting nice it like. all in bags, mate. When when you and Blackie were off at the pub sinking beers, I was doing the hard yakka. <laughs> putting it all in bags up at the pub. <laughs> yeah. You were down there having a pot and a palmy, and I'm there setting up the curtain, getting my little my little bed sheet out, covering Off the table. The pub versus the real reason, <laughs> picking Harry up from school. <laughs> Where did you go after you picked up Harry? <laughs> to the pub. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yes, we did actually. We went to the pub. I know you did. <laughs> All right. I'll have to make the venture down for the next second aqua experience or underwater experience. Hell yeah. yeah. I think next year I might try and do the double, do the Sydney and the Melbourne. 
Lucky, I've already sent you stickers. Why am I sending you more? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jace, what's your surname? So I get this right, or do I just put it as Jason Cichlids? Um. <laughs> First name. I'm going to figure out whether uh, Jason Cichlids actually is Perth Cichlids or not. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Um, yes. Did you answer me before, Matt? What's coming up on the channel in the next uh, few days or week? Um, I've kind of fell into a slump at the moment because I'm um, trying to get my renovations done in the shed and, try and get this fish room build underway so i've kind of taken a little back burner on making videos at the moment but i'm still trying to do stuff and stuff like that so we're getting into the middle of doing the fish room build so that should be the next really big one but the australian bass turn up next week i hope so there'll be a video on that hell yeah so is it? Are you streaming now on your computer or on your phone? It's on my phone at the moment. Oh, okay. I tried streaming it on the computer at the start, and that's when everything went cockeyed. And oh, okay. I didn't get any sound. <laughs> so what I'm doing at the moment is I've got the live feed up on the computer, which has got all the comments, and I'm just um, got the video up on the phone. Hmm. Because um. Because you're thinking of starting up a weekly live stream, aren't you? Or is that? Yeah, if um, I can get my computer working properly. If not, I'll have to buy a new one. But yeah, I am thinking about trying to get a live stream going on a Monday afternoon when I'm home alone and I don't have a four year old running around. Nice. Oh, we didn't have Harry last night. It was the best night ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Heather. Um, yeah, I just use the rainwater for things I'm trying to breed and the Michelins pretty much. Yeah, I use rainwater a lot, except I keep forgetting to use, um, bringing tap water and that when I'm topping up my guppy tanks and that, because the rainwater is like really pure and there's no chemicals in it, so it's kind of sucks when I put it in my guppy tank and realize, oh, hang on, I probably shouldn't have done that because it's starting to look a little doughy. <laughs> yeah, it depends how how clean your roof is and all that. Like I said before, we got a bit of an older house here and the TDS of my rainwater is about 33 and Lockie's is, or oh, Sopranolots is 15 to 20. So, But, I mean, out of the tap, the TDS is like 200, so... Still quite soft here anyway, so it's not a big drama, but like yeah, a lot of TDS people. is around 360 out of the tap here, so it's hmm. not too bad for guppies and that, but I try and use rainwater for everything else. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people like use RO water and salty shrimp up to about 150 TDS for some caradina shrimp. So like out of the tap, I don't need to cut it with much rainwater to bring the water down to 150. I mean... TDS is a bit of an arbitrary, arbitrary figure where what is it made up of? You don't know if it's, well, at least part of it for me would be chloramine, so that's not good. But, you know, 150 TDS of ammonia is worse than 150 TDS of calcium. But a lot of people already know that already, so um, <laughs> it's just kind of like a good indicator, basically, of how much stuff's in your water. Yeah, see, I don't really worry too much about my shrimp tanks. I usually just get um old seashells and that, and throw in the in the bottom of the um, shrimp tanks, and just put um java moss or something over it. So there's always calcium in the tanks anyway. Yeah, I um I get from poultry stores cow grit. You know, like people use it for chickens yeah. and that. And I I just chuck a little stocking or whatever of that in the back of a hang on back or whatever, and anything that needs a lot of calcium. I, do it that way. Aquamate going to get carpal tunnel, yep. 
That's actually not so bad. I most of it's done. Jeffrey Boster, didn't know you were here. Sorry, we didn't say hello, but later. <laughs> See you, Jeff. <laughs> TDS of my roof would be ten thousand. Bad shit up there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I've got full, like, I don't know what sort of plants they are, but, yeah, it's, it looks like a garden bed, my roof gutters at the moment. Not much gets to the downpipe. It, it all just wicks over the top of these garden beds that have made their way up there. No calcium. I was actually asking this question before. Now, I am not an experienced shroom keeper. I've got red cherries, bread like crazy, keep going, no problems. I got the cherries off you, Blake, mm. the black and the red. The only issue I think I've got with those is that the You're good. The red is beautiful. Right? Oh. Sorry? Oh, nothing. Nothing. The red are beautiful, but uh, I think they're females, <laughs> so they're breeding with the, the black, so I'm not getting any more new red ones. Um, so they're definitely doing well in three tanks right in front of me, but I did get – a crystal shrimp and put it in the tank where the cherries were before I got all the cherries and it lasted like two months then died. And I'm like, all right, so what's the difference with crystals versus cherries? Yeah. Um, basically, I the I put them in that little tank back there, but I'm like, it's a similar makeup to this tank and it didn't work. Yeah. Um, the window for crystal shrimp is really quite narrow. And Prawny and I have been talking about this a heap lately. He knows heaps about this stuff. I probably don't know enough about it, but I sort of just get, get up here, Prawny. Yeah, put a shirt on, put pants on, Prawny, and get up. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's just a very, very narrow window that crystal shrimp will breed in. Like they, they might survive in a bunch of conditions, maybe, but they only live up to one and a half years anyway. So. If you get an adult one, you don't know how much. You might have a day left in it. You might have five months left in it, you know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they just – they don't cope nearly as well with hardness as cherry shrimp. Like, you can easily put cherry shrimp, guppies, and bristlenose in a tank and, you know, do the things for the guppies. And the bristlenose will be fine as long as it's not too hot. And the cherry shrimp will be fine. They'll lo love a bit of calcium. But you can't do the same thing with – crystals, guppies, and, like, you know, peppermint bristlenose or something, although that would be a ripping way to make a lot of money in a tank if you could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I just don't know whether to try it again. I think I'll just do water tests, just make yeah. sure that levels are right. But uh, there you go. They prefer lower TDS and less KH. Very sensitive little fellas. That's – well – would I be wrong in thinking that KH would be low if you used an aqua soil like Amazonia Light or Amazonia Soil from ADA? Mm. KH is like the carbonate hardness, like the buffering hardness, capacity yeah. of the water. So the aqua soil, from what I believe, doesn't do that. Doesn't lower the carbonate, you mean? I don't think so. I keep thinking of carbonate hardness as like more like calcium, not calcium, but like Texas Holy Rock and those sorts of things that boost it I, or the other way around. I don't like this because I'm talking about things that I'm not 100% sure on, but. Yeah, I, thought, I do that all the time. <laughs> I Can thought you talk about this in that a bit, was the though? pH that that was raising, general hardness. But, yeah, it's very, very confusing. This is why I don't, this is why I don't have like blue bolts and all these tigers and all that, like. Some people do. Uh, sorry, there's a few conversations going on. I guess piles <laughs> yeah, trying to keep up with it. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be fine. Just get a TDS meter off eBay. They're really cheap. And just they work pretty good too. Yeah. I don't think I've got one floating in here somewhere. Even the cheap ones are fairly reliable. So just put some rainwater in a bucket and have a look. The only thing that some people have trouble with, I think it's zinc. If you have zinc roofs, then that can leach into the rainwater and so on. There you go. So Pronolite says, I know higher KH reduces the lifetime of aqua soil. Yeah. I know why this is. This is why. Because so, say your water is up here and 
the KH is up here because that means that the water wants to go down from the aqua soil, right? So what happens is the aqua soil consumes a bit of KH and the pH stays the same and then it wants to go down again, consumes a bit of KH, consumes a bit of KH, whatever. So to get it to get the pH from here to here, it has also had to consume this much KH. Whereas if your KH naturally is like down here, the soil only has to con consume that much KH before it can drop your pH down. Make sense? Yep. So that's why. So they're all related. It's just the, yeah, I'm trying to understand whether, because that's the thing, you put together a fish tank and you think, oh, this, this, this can work together, but what levels of whatever you're putting in affect mm. what, each other. This is, <laughs> I got, you asked me about these. And now the sail flim flat goes out. I swear he can just see them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand what the GH and KH means. I just don't know which one makes up which, which I might just suss that out after this stream to make sure. Like, I don't, you know, like obviously it's called carbonate hardness. So does that mean that carbons make up the KH? I don't know. So, further research required. <laughs> Yes, yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense that Texas rock raises the pH, raises the KH, does it? Let me see. Because I thought that that would just work in reverse to the soil, where it would eventually just consume the KH until the general hardness went up to whatever the limestone wanted to be. Carbon hardness, carbonate hardness. All right, let's do some live research in here. Carbonate hardness, what makes up? Done. Yeah, so it's... KH is caused by the presence of carbonate and bicarbonate anions, okay? <gasps> so it's like how much CO2? Hmm. You need to do a chemistry degree to understand <laughs> this stuff. Yeah, I try not to chase um, too, many, too many parameters when it comes to that sort of stuff. If the fish yeah. are living healthy, they're good. <laughs> That's pretty much what I do as well. If it if the fish want harder water, I drop a bit of limestone in. If they want softer water, I drop a bit of wood or aqua soil in there. That's it. That's all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. Well, that's what I do, but that's what I was wondering. Like, is there a trick that would be more beneficial, like, if you're going to have an aqua soil planted tank and then put some crystal shrimp in, is there something that you guys would recommend and say, well, yeah, do that, but chuck some, you know, a bit of Texas holy rock or calcium or whatever okay. uh, to yeah. help buffer the carbon. carbon so for, this, is, this is exactly my thought process for the Michelin shrimp. I just test the TDS. I've got new aqua soil in there, and I just didn't use, like I would have preferred to use stone but that raises the pH. So I chose Dragonstone so that we will get the full buffer out of the aqua soil. And then all I do is I just test the TDS and I just cut it with rainwater until it's around the 150. That's it. Yep. See you, Nick. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. I'll and last address. The pH, the pH naturally goes down because I feed like, Indian almond leaves and mulberry leaves and all that sort of stuff anyway, but I am certainly not a shrimp expert. Yeah, I sort of explained my thought my thought process with chasing pH and all that, so that's pretty much as far as it gets. That's right, Ryan. So it's the buffering capacity. So like yeah. If you if you put GH powder in it will determine how far the pH will swing immediately and when that GH is used up. 
Well, there you go. So Prawn a lot says put leaves in. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I like them too. Because I always sort of think of like, well, KH is it directly attributed to alkalinity? Um, so alkalinity, alkalinity and acidity is a combination of GH and pH. So like acidic water below 7 pH is the simple way I think about it. And alkaline water is the opposite. Yeah. And yeah, bodgies on the money. Peat moss. If you want to basically lower your pH as much as limestone raises it, then peat moss is the way to go. It's like the anti limestone. But it can get pretty messy. So put it in a stocking or something. I feel like, um, they'd be harder to keep in. Um. Like, you know, like well-scaped tanks, wouldn't they? They'd be like, it'd be a bit messier keeping them because you've got a few other things that you're trying to incorporate. Shrimp, you mean? Crystals. Yeah, a lot of people don't really scape too much. They just put like fluval stratum or something as the substrate, maybe like some java moss in a corner and a sponge filter in the other corner. Like if you want to get full on with the breeding. Because the other side of things is you can't inject CO2 Apparently, because your crystal shrimp won't breed on you. That's interesting as well, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I think what I want to do is try and I've got like a really nice red in the cold water tank from yours. And I'm not sure if it's a male or female. It's a bit smaller than the the two females that keep um, getting eggs. So I'm hoping it's a male. I'm thinking I'd like to try them in the tank with the two females, remove them, put them together, and uh, hopefully get a really strong line of red um, cherry yeah. shrimp instead. The main way to see is like if it's quite thin and slender, like looking from the top down, it's like thin and straight looking, or the, the female will have like a yellow saddle, like at the I think it's yeah. called like a carapace. They'll have a yellow saddle across there. Or they'll have like a chunkier sort of thorax, is it? Like that's what it is on an ant, but I don't know if it's like that on a shrimp. Yeah, is Ryan saying you can't get crystal shrimp in WA. Is that right? All shrimp are banned in WA. Rory, good night. I've, I've got your yeah. stuff sorted out over here, I think, as long as you don't have a postcode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Western Australia yeah. doesn't like any plants or... Uh, or shrimp. No, fair enough. Well, I have to say this stream so is a big success. We got it all done. Got everything I wanted to get done. <laughs> had a look at the new tank and had a chat. Is there anything you guys wanted to touch on before we call it a night? I thought we were doing a six hour. <laughs> you say that again, six hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Six hour. Uh. All right, I'll come back and check on you guys in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be asleep. <laughs> yep, I'll be cleaning my shit up. <laughs> right, we should. I reckon we should give them a peek behind the curtain and um, say <laughs> I switched to one hour streams because you know it was just it was getting out of hand with all these six hour streams, and then. Last week, I was sitting up talking with Aquamate offline until 3 a.m. or something, 2 a.m. Crazy was it talk. That late, was it? Yes, it was. <laughs> we were talking about how responsible we were being. <laughs> <laughs> Get up the next day and go, what, what happened there? So I was like, oh, I'll just cut it back to one hour streams. You know, I'll get all my, I'll get a bit of extra maintenance done around here. It'll be brilliant. And so far, it's gone longer than. Online. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do people need to do to go to a Blake's Aquatics after party? Oh, you gotta, you gotta give me some cribs and endless. That's usually that's the end. <laughs> minimum. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so what's coming up? You're up on Thursday night. Our time's pretty much just very similar time that I went tonight, so half an hour earlier. Yeah, yep. So Thursdays and then Monday morning, if anyone's awake at 8 a.m. Monday uh, I'm awake, but I'm usually working by that time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or at, at look, making myself look busy anyway. <laughs> oh. well, I'll chuck the headphones in. <laughs> That's when I'm usually trying to get ready for work and everything. But the reason Blake's going at that time is because there's a bunch of um, a bunch of people that jump up. Oh, so we start with JH, and then we're going to have Blake, then we're going to have Q Aquatics. Ah, Q Aquatics, then Aquafunk. Is that right? Yeah. So there's a whole bunch. Is HC Aqua before JH as well? Uh, yeah, sometimes. So there's a whole bunch of people streaming on a Monday morning for us. Yeah. Sunday night for them. So that's a, that's a good spot too. Yeah, so every second week because King and Queen are going the in-between weeks. It's actually their slot, but they just yep. said they don't want to go every week, so I was happy to oblige. No, that's good. That's just sort of what we were doing with them on the Sundays when they moved over to Saturday night. Um on Saturday morning, 10 o'clock our time, and I think 8 o'clock, is it Eastern Standard American time? You can probably answer that, Zen. Uh, I've been doing episode 10 of the Aquamate Experience with James from the Fish Room Fever. So that will be a cool chat. We'll see where James started, where he came from, and um, what he's doing with his channel. Uh, and then on the Sunday Probably be all of us mob again with uh, with Doctor Black at our regular time of eleven o'clock. So we'll all catch up and have some more fun. And the week after that, we've got Otter Creek Aquatics on the Aquamate Experience too. So there's a few things coming up on my channel, but it will be talking to you guys as well in the middle of it. I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. We'll sort it out. It's always cool. good fun hanging out. Yeah, well, like That's I said, great. I'm hoping to have. Um, live stream next Monday afternoon. I haven't really picked a time yet, but it'll probably be around five or six. Um, five or six p.m. So hang on, we're the same time. You're not. Yeah, there's no half an hour difference anymore, is there? Yeah, we're the same. Yep. Perfect. So, All right, so Monday afternoon. If it's Try not then, it'll be. Um, it'll definitely be a live stream when I'm adding the bass into the into the um, tote. So that'll probably Hell be. Yeah. A, short short live stream while i'm doing that so do us a favor when you schedule it or make sure you schedule it and then um we'll have to do that yet. <laughs> and we'll try and share it out a couple of days earlier and try and get a few people there because uh it's very late for the americans but i know they can either stay up for it and it's probably prime time for a lot of the aussies and stuff over here so i'll definitely want to check that out as well hmm. yeah well yeah, we'll see how we go because I'm not 100 percent sure when these bass are supposed to be turning up. It's supposed to be Monday, so I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, early next week at least, it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. Jeremy on <laughs> catching the end. Scuff fish tank. How are you, dude? Oh, scuffed. How's the IKEA <laughs> Calax going, mate? <laughs> what was the it? The IKEA Calax, the most sturdy uh nano tank stand in the world. <laughs> How are you, my good friend, Scuffed? Have you won any more competitions lately? Always full of winning competitions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you haven't hit the like button, make sure you do before we, we close it off. I appreciate it. And also, just a little note, only because someone, a couple of people said it to me, that when I released the video last night that they didn't get notifications. If you enjoy stuff on the Aquamate channel, make sure you've got your notification bell dinged or clicked or hit or whatever because um, we've got a few awesome videos coming up. And that's a good example of the one behind me that there's a bit more going on with that too. So thank you everyone for joining us. Thanks, Blake. Thanks, Matt. Pleasure. Uh, no worries. I will see you all very soon. And Scuffed has gone nuts in the yeah. chat. Now. Congrats. <laughs> you did win another competition. Last you want to go on bottles. Happy days. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you all soon. <laughs> see ya. See you.